And now for our weekly news segment. We got Tony up there. I don't know. We got to we got to put Tux up there. I think uh, Tony. Tony's in my <laughs> yeah. No Tony today, unfortunately. <laughs> Tony uh, become a mysterious it. figure around here. Share my screen. Oh. Here. Yeah, share your screen if you can. I don't even know what we got. I think I sent you some links. I don't know if we have anything yeah, else. You send some links. Oh, that's not the right one. Hmm. So while you're while you're working on that, I mm -hmm. took some Monero and I got some goldbacks and I got them in the mail and they are amazing. They're like little works <laughs> of art. Of course. Well, where'd where you buy them? Monero uh, Market that I owe. Yeah, yeah, Monero Market. They're super yeah, thin though. Like I got last week. I got the one. I got the one goldbacks and I got a couple of them to give away for gifts. And when I got them. They're so thin that I'm like, did the person only send me one? like, did the person only send me one? And I pulled them out and no, nope, the right quantity was there, but they are so thin. I was not expecting that. Like, I think a dollar bill is thicker. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. Yeah, the, the, um, the 50s are not notably thicker. I don't know if it, it's because it's, you know, when you think about the weight of something as dense as gold. Yeah. The, in order to make one gold backs worth one thousandth of an ounce, you have to spread it so thin to make it into something that resembles a dollar. You can literally see through it. Right. So we have a lot of news, but this one is from uh, Doug posted. He reposted the fact that the Sarai announced that their new site is live. You can check it out right now. And Sarai will hopefully be um, a path forward from the centralized ways that a lot of people get crypto right now, especially Monero, as Monero has continually become banned on central exchanges. There's almost nowhere you can get Monero anymore um, in the U.S. and in uh, most first world European countries. So that is pretty awesome. It's the ride. Dex, it's basically, I mean, for those who are just hearing about it for the first time now, it's basically going to be similar to a, a Thor, Thor chain in the, in the way it functions. Uh, with liquidity pools so it's it's gonna feel pretty seamless in my understanding it's gonna feel like a centralized exchange it's not like atomic swaps uh where you have to bring two parties together and then you know go through the process uh the because of these liquidity pools you're gonna pretty much be able to instantaneously make an exchange from monero into bitcoin into uh ethereum stablecoin so I think I think this is tr obviously trem tremendous project and amazing to see that it's actually coming to fruition here. Of course, as always, thanks to Luke Parker for going crazy yeah. on the development, going ham. Maybe we'll have Luke on again soon. That'd when, be awesome. Once it actually launches, do we have a uh, an idea of when it's actually going to launch? I know that they got this website up now, but I think there are some estimates before the end of this year, or like the beginning of next year, if I remember. Um, I don't quote me on that. Well, better to say later than sooner. Uh, it's it's just amazing to me that Thorchain just never added Monero, right? Yeah, super would have would have been the perfect thing for it. So lame, so lame, so lame. Uh, what else we got? Uh, next we got a constitution the government evades. Oh yeah, I don't know if you took a look at it. If you want to go through that a little bit, um. Six months ago, FBI officials boasted that in 2022, their agents had spied on only uh, only 120,000 Americans with search warrants. Under the Constitution, that number should be zero. This revelation is supposed to give members of Congress comfort that the folks we have hired to protect the Constitution are in fact doing so. In reality, the feds continue to assault and violate a core freedom protected by the Constitution, the right to be left alone. The reason for the FBI revelation in the pending expiration of Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act and the bipartisan animosity towards its extension. Section 702 is unconstitutional on its face as it directly contradicts the core language of the Fourth Amendment. It permits the feds to conduct warrantless surveillance on foreign persons who are either physically or digitally present in the United States and all with whom they communicate, including American citizens who are located here. 
Is yeah, there, is, is there anything sense. more Orwellian than that sentence? Or who are digitally present in the United States? <laughs> is that not the freakiest thing you've heard all day? Which is basically everyone, right? I mean, like at one point or another. Anybody that uses any that goes through any server that's you know hosted, which in, I mean in, is most of the internet, right? And so uh, they're looking to extend Section Seven Hundred Two, right? This is like some Patriot Act crap, warrantless surveillance. Yeah, and it, it's it's up, it's coming up in Congress for extension. I think it's it's being voted on. Just just disband the United States. That's the answer. <laughs> Rescind my citizenship. Uh, Rhino makes enterprise wallet free. Rhino today announced that it is making its enterprise wallet free to use. Today, we're announcing that Rhino enterprise wallet is free to use. Rhino's enterprise wallet enables financial industry best practices such as spending limits and 4i approvals. Organizations can sign up instantly and get started without having to deal with salespeople or subscription models. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Rhino wallet is cool. Uh, it is one of the first wallets that supports uh doing multi-sig for transactions mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty awesome and looks like they've made their enterprise wallet free and they already had some kind of free wallet but i guess it wasn't the enterprise specific version but now they do which is really cool uh they're doing have you tried it out at all? i have used um some base version of rhino wallet just briefly uh and it's pretty cool uh it's it's not really if you're trying to use like a wallet personally, it is it really is more designed for like a business use case where you've got access control so multiple people can access the wallet and you've got um, the multi-sig, right? So not just one person can spend. But this is a really good wallet if you're uh, trying to manage a business and you have a lot of Monero going in and out and you have multiple people that need to be able to access that. Yeah, this uh, will one day be a tremendous asset I think to the to the community as we grow larger and we start to see my Monero CEO, businesses. My my CEO called me and asked me to transfer five Monero for an Amazon gift card. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next we have. Oh yes, uh, somebody pointed out to me. Apparently, I'm in this video. Uh, Mental Outlaw did a video on Monerica, which is uh, it's like a 40 minute long video. Um, I'm sure most people know who Mental Outlaw is. He's uh, Luke Smith's doppelganger, uh, brown doppelganger, and he makes a bunch of uh, privacy and techie videos and security videos. And somebody pointed out to me that around he was showing off hush picks. Can, can we can we play a clip? Oh, sorry, I didn't. My bad, I didn't switch to this tab. There we go. Okay. By the way, he would make a really good guest one of these days. Just saying. I've been trying forever, man, from the first day he mentioned Monero, but he uh, I don't know how to get in contact with him. Do you guys he's uh I don't know. I don't know. Like I've never I've never seen him. Like I've seen Luke Smith at various Base. Like, I've never win. seen this guy. Send send uh something over base.win. I think there's a way to person... contact him there. Is there a way? I looked on there. I don't think there was a way to con I don't think there was a contact there. I'll check it out again. I'll get a look at it and I'll talk like to you about it. It's like his little right? Where he's selling stuff. Yeah. That's working for Chuck. It's probably better to sell stuff for XMR on hush picks than on OnlyFans because then it's not being traced. You know, maybe you have a change of heart later in life and you want to no longer work for Chuck. <laughs> well, if you were accepting payments in fiat, there's going to be a paper trail of that. Not with Monero. DJs, you can hire a DJ in Monero. Electricians, you can hire electricians in Monero, well, at least in Stockholm, Sweden. So there you go. If you're living in Stockholm, Sweden, and uh, you just bought a house, you can hire a carpenter and an electrician to do your renovations and pay them in Monero. Look at that. If you're a dark web kingpin and you're looking to move somewhere, I guess Stockholm is the place to go to get your house renovated and you can buy a car. Look at that. You're in the EU. Uh, buy yourself a fancy German car. <laughs> uh, let's see food and drink. So this, this is great right here. Um, you've got, what are these? Some type of energy bars. 
Oh, these are actually really good. This actually, we, we sell those on gratuitous as well. Uh, yeah, that's buy. right. You guys do now. Yeah, these are really good. Uh, I'll try to find a specific part. Saying, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Who... Ah, yes, there I am. I'm on a mental outlaw video now. <laughs> somebody actually, somebody actually messaged me. They were like, "Hey, what, what are you doing on Hush Picks?" <laughs> like just out of the blue, I saw you in the mental outlaw video, and I'm like, "What?" Yeah, uh, that was funny. Um, but yeah, he's. He's and we all we all know your password to hush picks too because you exposed it during the, during the last yeah step. which is why i don't like the uh the yeah uh have we have we seen any good hush picks recently uh i don't know it's Maybe. mostly just uh it's nsfw now oh it is it's our it's already oh, yeah. made it oh yeah okay. yeah there's we, all, we, we there's get to actually, check it out before it was destroyed. <laughs> there's a, there's actually a whole section on moneromarket.io for NSFW stuff. Yeah, of course. Um, XMR Bazaar will have a digital digital downloads, right, Tux? That's correct. Um, hush picks. I it. I think it. I think it's. <laughs> I think it's great. I think it's phenomenal the way the way they they made it. I think it's nice and simple. Um, I think, it, I think we might see that take off. But anyway, great seeing that supported and glad he's he's taking the time to show it off. And, and yeah, but Erica, uh, he's showing off. Erica, yep. Fantastic. Yep. All right. What I else we got? Is that about it? it. Um, I think, oh, we got a couple more here. Oh, by the way, uh, you know how earlier we were talking about ways to generate Monero for the uh cuban people um hush picks is actually a great way because cubans are absolutely beautiful people okay i'll shut up now <laughs> get the word out all yeah, right that one that was one way yeah it's not it's not the recently apparently say. honda you can now purchase cars from honda using uh lots of crypto Except Ripple and, and this one, this one for some reason in the headline, it's Ripple and Shib. I, I I don't know why that's in the headline. Um, but if you scroll down, they tell you all the ones you actually can: Bitcoin, Ethereum. Well, definitely Binance not Monero. Coin. Like Monero is essentially no, not Monero. Japan. It's it's not listed on any. Uh, it forms a bunch of Ethereum tokens. Um, but that that's interesting. Uh, I, I guess they're hoping that with the best next bull market, when people make it big with their NFTs or whatever, uh, they can spend that money on a Honda. So, well, yeah, I could just take my Monero and go to Trocador.app and swap it for Bitcoin or whatever, and then have it sent directly to Honda for my new oh, Honda. Your Honda Civic with Monero. Yeah. Yeah. Or just you know, go go buy a car directly from somebody with Monero. Right, I was gonna say, or just car don't that buy doesn't Honda. Have a bunch of spyware built into it. New cars, they all spy on you. Um, Re respect, major respect, lost for for Japan when they delisted Monero. Uh, 